now you have created or set up your GPA system and you want to create a GPA record. So you click on this. Here you have to select the session you want to create a record for. So I select session two. I have some records already. So I select session two, which is my year two, and then second semester. Uh, once I do this, I click this plus button here, and then I can begin to add my records. It's quite straightforward. So here you enter your course. So let's say the course is physics uh, 101. And how many credit hours is it? It's a three credit unit load or credit hour, depending on how you want to call it. And then what's core? You see that this is speaking from my settings. As so I had an A, I click on this. I click again, physics 102. How many credit units? It says two. This says I had an A in the course. Then you have physics 103. How many credit units? Let's say it's three, and let's say I had a B. And then say it's physics 104. Let's say it's still a three unit load course. And let's say I have a C. And uh, you can see that the uh, GPA is changing as I'm adding physics 105. Uh, let's say it's a two unit load course and I have an A. And um, then let's just add one more. It's 106. Let's say it's a two unit load course and let's say I have an A. So you see, it has created a record. And I can see all the records. This is a record that I just created now. So this is a two. This is these are my previous records, you know. So you see, it's giving me my cumulative grade point average. At every point in time, I will know my CGPA based on my semester grades. Yeah.